if you're doing coaching work or if you're interested in starting to do coaching work, it's probably because you feel a deep call to show up in the world in this way. You, you, it's part of who you are already. You're a natural catalyst for transformation in the people around you. And then when it, times, when it comes time to turn this into a profession, sometimes that natural gift gets squelched. Uh, when somebody asks you what it is you do, and the only word that, that we really have is coach, it can feel a little bit deflating. You might cringe a little bit. There's no quality control around that word. Um, it can mean you took a five-hour video training, or it could mean that you spent 10 years studying under a spiritual master. Um, so a, an easy way to bypass this problem is instead of saying you're a coach, answer with who you serve and how you serve them. So if you are, maybe you're a health coach, um, and you help women, you help mamas get back to their pre-pregnancy weight through lifestyle changes and delicious meal plans. I don't know, whatever, you know what you do. So that is how you answer. And that is a way that you can start to bring that natural talent into your designation. When somebody asks you what you do, you're not a title. There is a thing that you do, and you can express that. It's way more inspiring, and uh, people who might have negative connotations around the word coach, or people who might not even know what a coach is, are still going to be engaged and, and interested um, when you introduce yourself in that way. The bigger issue uh, of squelching that natural talent, or that natural thing that you have that you want to bring, is the training process. Uh, there's a lot of different training programs out there and I know it's tempting when you're starting a business to go for name recognition or um, certification. You want um, something that's going to back you up that says, yes, she knows what she's doing. But the reality is that nobody cares about your certification. Nobody is going to give a shit who your mentor was if you're doing crappy work. If you are doing brilliant work, it, it doesn't matter. If you're doing great work, it, you're going to get clients. More people are going to want to come and see you. If you're doing crappy work, you have a thousand different certifications of, from the most famous coaches around the world and you're still not going to have any clients because what is going to build your practice is doing good work, offering goodness to your audience. So I have, I have three principles for looking into coach training programs that I want you to consider. And this is really if you're starting out or if you have been a coach and you're just going to the next level of your training and development. And these, these three principles are going to have you choose a training program that exemplifies and radiates your natural talents and also gives them structure to move through. Being educated is good. Getting trained is a good idea. But you want a training that doesn't squelch or stifle what you naturally do. So first and foremost, you want a training program that is centered around personal development. Coaching is something that happens from the inside out. When you have the being, when you are doing the work yourself, when you are radiating it, people just transform in your space. Things start to move just by being around you. The only way that that's going to happen is if you do the work yourself. This is also an issue of integrity. You can't ask your clients to participate in an, an exercise or a conversation within themselves that you aren't willing to do yourself. You have to do the work internally. So first, a coaching program that centers around personal development. Second, you want a coach training program that gives you an opportunity to practice inside the program. So you want, you want to be doing sessions that are being guided, that are being witnessed by other participants, that are being witnessed by your mentor. You want to have the experience of being able to 
play around with different modalities, play around with what it is that you offer in a responsible way, meaning where somebody else is there also taking care of the client. And two, your client knows that you're learning so that they're also protecting their own boundaries. So number two, practicing inside the program. Number three, and this is maybe the most important thing. You want a coach training program that is centered around foundational understanding rather than modality, rather than procedure. If you, if you have scripts and rules and guidelines that you're having to follow, that is going to keep you from checking in with yourself and really bringing what you're called to do out for your client. If you have a foundational understanding of why certain modalities or why certain procedures are there, if you understand foundationally the principles by which those practices work by, then suddenly you have uh, an education that gives you something to play with. You have, um, you have a structure to move your, your talents through. So an example of this would be with EFT. EFT is a wonderful modality that all coaches should know. You don't want an EFT training program that's teaching you scripts or teaching you what to do in specific situations because there's always going to be situations that are not in the books and and you might feel called to do something different than what the rule book would say to do and you want to be able to follow that. So instead you want to look for an EFT program, an EFT training program that would teach you the fundamentals of energetic anatomy. You want to have an understanding of the meridian system. You want to have an understanding of the chakra system. Um, you also want to understand human psychology. And this is really for any coach training program. You want to understand humans, human behavior, why we do what we do. Similarly, if you're wanting to be a business coach, you want to understand business. You want to understand what are the mechanisms that my clients are going to be working inside of. What are their problems going to be? You need to understand the arena that you're going to be coaching inside of rather than having uh, how-tos, right? Okay, so first and foremost, personal development. Second, you want to practice inside the program. Third, you want a program that focuses on fundamentals rather than modality, foundational information so that you can be savvy and wise and educated with your coaching, not just a little mini version of your trainer. Okay, so I have a really great gift for you. If you sign in your email below, I have a spiritual practice that is really incredible for coaches. This is something that you should be practicing every day. It will change the way you live. It will change the way you coach. It will change your clients' lives. Um, so plug in your email below and I'll send you that, uh, that little training on this particular spiritual practice that'll change everything. I'm also starting a coach training program in the middle of August. This is specifically for people who have already been doing coach work. So this is an advanced level training. It's called the Liberation Mastermind. And I'd love to tell you more about this program. Um, I'm also going to be offering more free training videos over the next month while we're warming up for that, that, that program to start. So plug in your email below and I'll send you the spiritual practice. I'll send you more information about this coach training program that I will be starting in the middle of August. This coach training program is specifically for people wanting to do psychological, spiritual healing work around liberating the spirit and your emotional, mental well-being. Um, and I'll send you some free trainings. So I look forward to working with you and uh, 